What's up, y'all? It's Mel, and welcome back to It's Mel BB. How y'all doing out there? I have had a heck of a day. Um, my doctor's office is backed up. I was in there for over an hour. Um, it was hot. Some of you may notice my mic. <clears throat> I moved it closer because my last, <clears throat> one of my videos I was watching, and to y'all I apologize, uh, my mic has been in all those videos, but I guess y'all, well shit, I couldn't hear me, so I apologize on the volume thing, hopefully this solves it because I brought it closer, because normally it's back there and I was hoping it picked me up but I guess it didn't so let's see what what today's video is gonna be like um I went to Kroger I was not gonna do a haul but I found something some interesting things that I had not seen in the grocery store before and I had to buy them and so, um, I'm going to be doing, I guess, a review. And I got to get more than Lonzo in on this review. Be and, and we got to do it all at the same time. Because I found some really interesting things. So, let's start. Now... Y'all gonna see me taking something out the bag. It don't have nothing to do with the hole. But it's on top the bag so see. So my first thing from Kroger, I brought me some more hot dog buns. Cause um this weekend I plan to have hot dogs. Now that was an empty can. Hold on. Cause I don't think y'all, you know what, forget it. Okay. That was my medicine. Okay. Being with the hot dogs, I brought a small can of chili. Brought some hot dogs. You good? I saw these little pickles, and I said I was going to give them a try. They're called Sucker Punch Gourmet Chip Pickles. Well, Chip Cut. Kosher Deals. Our pickles are a punch for knockout flavor. We use only the best cucumbers for extra snap. Oh, well. I think that's going to be a problem for me, but we'll see. Okay, I got that. Got some grapes. And I actually went back to get the grapes because I, uh, I have not been buying any junk per se, like no candy balls, no snack cakes or the only uh, things that I have are review items as far as snacks go. And I, I want to keep that going. You know, leave the junk alone. So I brought the grapes. I know they, not, they got sugar and all that too, but it ain't as bad as a Reese's or two. I brought a lemon. I brought some, they say this is Italian roasted ham. I Maybe I should have tasted it before I brought it, but hey, ham is ham, right? No, it's not. <laughs> but it's not sweet. It, do, it don't have no brown sugar, no honey or none of that. So I say, mm, 
I'll see. I brought a line. And I brought some Cousin Willie's buttery explosion popcorn. I didn't know Kroger sold Cousin Willie. Um, tell you the truth, I don't know why I brought this. Yes, I do. Because I'm going to be, oh, I need a snack. I need a snack. Well, I ain't no chips, but go go pop you some popcorn or something. Yeah, I don't want no popcorn, but I don't know what to tell you. Well, give me the popcorn. Okay, then. Now, these last three items are the things, well, except for this one. Uh, a pack of premium white chicken. Remember the other day I did that haul and I was like, I should have brought chicken to put in the broccoli and cheddar rice. Well, there it is. But these things here, I had never seen it in the store before. And I'm guessing it's because the store just didn't want to carry it because it doesn't say new on it. Okay, look at this. Beef creations. They are putting beef in these little containers now. Uh, these little pouches. And this one is sweet barbecue. It says beef creations. Seasoned beef in sauce. They also have a sloppy Joe one. But when I felt the container, I didn't feel any anything that could have been pieces of meat. So I did not get it. I, I, I didn't want to try it, okay? And I found this at program. Now I'm going to have to go see if Walmart has them. But, um, let's see. Fully cooked, ready to eat. Good source of protein. No high fructose corn syrup. Produced with 90-10 ground. Oh, wow, that, that means it's real lean meat. Enjoy straight from the pouch. Or empty into your favorite bowl and microwave for 30 seconds. Hmm. I don't think I would want to eat this cold. Barbecue too? No. That's one thing. And this other one is from Star Kids 2. It's called the Smart Bowl. And um, I just had to get it because I don't like the fact that it's tuna, but it's rice and beans with tuna jambalaya. I was like, boy, you put a little rice with anything and some seasoning and everybody called it jambalaya. But I'm not looking forward to eating this. But I am looking forward to seeing Alonzo's face when he tries this. Um this is not so far fetched. The only thing about this is I would not have put beans in it. But I have ate tuna and rice. So um they had another flavor. It was uh I wanna say chili lime and cilantro. And I was like, nah, I think they just doing too much now. But Kroger is the only place I have ever seen this. I'm I'm gonna say six out of ten when I go to the grocery store, I go to the canned meats aisle. Um, Cause you know I buy tuna and uh, I look for Vienna sausages and whatnot. And that's all I brought from Kroger today. Y'all, all this. Well, this little shit 
was twenty dollars and I was like are you shitting me she was like no no so I was like okay whatever and um it's not like I'm gonna tell her oh lord just put that back then no I'm not gonna say that so I just went on here paid them and went on about my business so that's my little Kroger haul tell me in the comment section below is my volume better do I need to work on it some more um okay I guess that's it um I knew it wasn't gonna be that long of a video because I didn't have that many items that I purchased I went in there today with it on my mind Mel you just gonna get the stuff to make you some hot dogs but but to my defense these was on the aisle with the chili this was on the aisle with the bread And so that's what happened. I, I I don't be wanting it to happen, but if I see uh, an interesting, worthy review item, that's like them shake gummies. I didn't necessarily want that, but. Lonzo believes he's the king of sour and nothing's ever sour to him. Well, these gummies are huge. You're going to see how sour they are. And uh, we're going to see, you know. And, you know, I try to do get things and do things so that I can... Spend more time with an Alonzo. Don't judge me. Uh, these kids be in their phones so much nowadays. They don't want to be bothered with you. Or uh, they just aggravate you. And you, you, you know, you give them something to do, you know. Um, I'm not sure if he's interested in a video content creator career or hobby. But uh, he always around here dancing and whatnot. So we going to see if he could get a dance together to, you know, film, you know. Um, well, I'm not going to say we're going to film all of it. But we're going to film the ones. Well, we're going to film them all, but. We're going to delete the ones that ain't worth nothing. We're not going to let him know that. Uh, so, this is my little haul. Um, thank y'all for watching. Oh, not only that. Um, someone sent me an email. I am so sorry I did not answer you. Um, I encourage y'all to email me if, if you like. But what my problem was, I forgot the email address. Um, what made me realize what was the email address was um, it wasn't even in my it wasn't in my about me section. It was, um, I'm going to say it was Instagram because, uh, my account had been, I'm going to say it was hacked because my picture was took down or maybe Instagram was like, Hey, help you ain't been on here and they shut it down or something, but I could not get into it. And when I finally was able to get into it, you know, you go to your settings and all that. And it told me my email, and I was like, oh, that is your 
email. Forgot I created it. I created that email for YouTube years ago. And um, I forgot it. So once again, my apologies again. Um, I'm going to tell you their name. I'm going to tell you your name if you're still the viewer. Uh, wrong email. Damn. Stacy. Y'all gotta forgive me. My ears is acting up. My ears itching. Uh, Stacy. Stacy M. My apologies, but I did answer it. But you probably like, bro, forget you. I'm sorry. I did not mean that. And I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for all y'all comments. They're appreciated. You know, sometimes it may take me a while to get to them. But I do. So, thank y'all for y'all comments. Thank y'all for y'all viewership. Um, Till next time, y'all. Have fun with your family and friends, but responsibly. Take care, stay safe, and have a good one. Till next time, y'all, peace, love, and hair grease, and I'm out.